Well, fall colors line the route to the finish line for the Twin Cities Marathon. Thousands of runners are getting ready to lace up their shoes for the big event this Sunday. All happens through the streets of Minneapolis and St. Paul. And for competitors, you know, the excitement's been kind of building for a while now. Yeah, last year, of course, COVID forced the mm -hmm. race to go virtual. And this year, runners can still expect to see a few safety changes. Rob Olson tells us how they're getting ready for the big event. The Twin Cities Marathon and all the other events and races that make up Marathon Weekend all had to go virtual last year because of COVID-19. Back now with still protocols in place, it feels pretty good to all to be back up and running. This is what we're meant to do and this is what we plan for and so it feels good to be back. In many ways, the last leg of a marathon seems the perfect pandemic analogy. The finish line might be taking longer to reach than we thought, but it's in sight. It feels really, really nice. Um, I keep joking that I have a permagrin that no one can see today. Virginia Brophy Ackman's executive director of Twin Cities in Motion as runners flow into St. Paul's River Center to pick up race packets, even though they're still required to wear masks inside and before and after the races. I don't mind wearing a mask. And once we're out there running, we'll be fine, so yeah. it'll be good. Even with reduced numbers, it still feels good to resume. Even at half capacity, even at the uncertainty, it was just comforting to know we were planning and moving forward and, and bringing the people together to cheer, volunteer and run is still normal. And out of the course, dubbed the most beautiful in America, is another story of a triumphant return. Coming back here and running the same race in the same course, it would definitely be emotional. Tyler Moon suffered a sudden cardiac arrest running the 10-mile race in 2019. Saved by other runners and now with an implanted defibrillator, he's back to do what's called the Looney Challenge. The 5 and 10Ks on Saturday and the 10-mile on Sunday. Tomorrow on the starting line and, and while you're running, it'll be really encouraging to be with everybody else and um, cheer each other on and hear the cheers from other people. Sunday's start line at U.S. Bank Stadium also kind of punctuates the return. The marathon in the morning, a full house for a Vikings game at noon. Not quite at the finish line, but we know it's there. Um, we're going to be excited for next year to get back to hopefully full capacity, but we are all very grateful for this opportunity this year. The marathon's at 8 o'clock Sunday morning. The TC 10-mile run. Channel 9's got a team in that. That starts at 7 in St. Paul. Rob Olson, Fox 9.